Hello everyone! As promised last week, this video will answer a lot of questions you have sent. The number of questions sent are over the early estimation, so not every question will be answered. Let's start with me, Michael Milchiel. Well, he and others asked how old are you? And also look for Tanali. Hey Shade, how old are you and did you decide to be a YouTuber for a job? It's 23 years old, thank you. The revenue from YouTube is not enough to sustain living here, not even half yet. So other than still doing freelance work, Patreon also has been set up for a while. If you are interested to become a patron, please visit patreon.com slash don'tshade and surely with enough support, full time on YouTube, it's not impossible. Pro Parkour, where are you from? Milord Anonymo asked to put its flag in the background. There you go. It's a country located in Southeast Asia. Indonesia is the largest country in Southeast Asia, and it's also the largest archipelago in the world by size. Mr. Ivan, do you like waffles? People really eat though based Western food here, but waffles is fine. Bika Ambon is far better in any aspect though. Mr. Duck, do you eat potatoes? What will this man ask about food? Our staple food is rice. Unless we are eating steaks, we usually prefer potato over rice. Christoph Materna, do you like bananas? No, I do not want a banana. Juicer fruits are more desirable, especially watermelons. Banana is too creamy. Ice Nazi Sons, who do you like? Boys? Girls or both? Um, both. Wasted Flash. What music do you like to listen to? And do you listen to that? Abominable a putridity, Magic Kingdom, or Dark Truck? Isaac Pindo also asked similar thing. Just like how all music used on this channel video. But no, not brutal death matter kind. Usually they do not have a vocal. Most of them has distinct orchestrated violin or piano melody. If you want one song title, it's Oari no Sekai Kara by Maeda Jun and Yena Ginagi. Peterlin has a bunch of questions, but they won't be answered at the same time. Number 1. About much time is put into each build. Four other people asked similar things too. If you watched the last time that's video, you can find the actual time spent for one creation was 2 until 3 hours. But sometimes, for a more complex one, it will take 5 or more, which spans for some days. Especially if it didn't work as intended. Another one from Peterlin. Do you ever end up scrapping projects because they don't end up functioning? There's a lot! <laughs> this is the space shuttle. The orbital vehicle is working as intended. But the rocket booster dislikes to leave the planet. This is the propaganda airship from Rise of the Rats. It's becoming too big and very laggy, and the motivation to finish it is already lost. Maybe someday it will be remade with less parts. This is the H8 Defender from the new Independence Day movie. Realized it late that this kind of engine didn't resemble an anti gravity engine like in the movie, and it will not work at all. Next from Jared Jimenez. What inspired you to play Besiege? It is Liu's coverage of this game on Kotaku, game where you build stupid shit but it actually works. His funny video and his stupidly sexy soothing voice convinced me that this game should be on my radar. Besiege lets you build really stupid things. You can build anything but often they turn out really stupid and it's great. I mean just take this level. You meant to destroy the thing all the way up there on the hilltop and I could construct something really complicated to get up there but instead I just built this and in no way is it elegant or smart but it works. 
turns out that one of my friends already owned it. And when I tried it on his laptop, finally sure that this game is so much enjoyable. This is the steerable car first built on Besiege. Orange Bean In Besiege, I know you like to make a lot of different types of aircraft, but what made you decide to choose Besiege instead of Simple Planes? Have you even seen Simple Planes? Was it because of that art style Besiege uses? Or the physics? Well, there's some problem with playing Simple Planes. It's too hard for a newcomer. In Besiege, we usually can build a simple medieval weapon right away, which works on most starting levels. In Simple Planes, building a working plane was not straightforward, even with tutorial they included. In Besiege, it is a game about building medieval weapons. If you build a plane, it is a feat. But, in Simple Planes, if you build a plane, it is too ordinary unless your plane have shit ton of features. The most popular creation in Simple Planes are either tanks, walker, animals, human, or even ships. Proud Dragon HD Why have you started building planes in Besiege? Because it would be so interesting to see a plane in medieval settings game, which originally focused on siege weapons. Just like Simple Planes, the popular creation in Besiege usually are not the siege weapons. Jack the Louder, what made you start YouTube and make the videos you do? And Kawa Matthews Oliveira Zuzeika edit. What was your first plane on Besiege? No much. This is the first plane. Even though it flies, it's very much unreliable. <laughs> Haven't understand how lift works in this game that time. Actually, how aerodynamics works in general. Just look at where the elevator control is located. The rotors will tilt up so that it can at least take off. It also has tons of flying blocks set vertically. It doesn't even glide. It drops like a rock when the engine are turned off. Starting from the second plane, you can find the rest of the workshop. They have that distinct default thumbnail. Only see the perfect attacker plane, a video regularly accompany every upload. Why? Originally, it was for evidence that this plane can fly. Perform this and that. Since YouTubers like Dragas and Matsya cannot fly a machine in Besiege, it is safe to assume that many others cannot too. So, if someone claim that this plane cannot fly, just point them the video and tell them that it was their fault. Kadrozik will Rivki, what's the hardest and easiest creation you've ever made? And what's the best creation you've proud of? The hardest is the V-50 Jumphawk, that helicopter which was used to carry Gypsy Danger. The double version is pretty straightforward, but the single version is significantly harder, it needs helps, like 5 other builders that make it right and it still have problems until now. The easiest is the Master Smith BF-109. Because it's just the Messersmith bf 10 z split it half, then mirror it. Works really well. <laughs> Trigger Grace Lunatic. What's your favorite creation, and what do you want to make ultimately? It's the not vertical bumper. Quite proud of how accurate the shape was. Also, the weird not sure at first steering works really well. The quite complicated bump has really wide area of effect. And of course, it turns invisible just like in the original game. Cameron Oaks Do you prefer modded creations? Or vanilla creations? Or do you like them for different reasons? Modded doesn't automatically make your creations good. Also, it's not just these two. This is just a personal opinion, but think it like this. 1. Pure vanilla. This is what we expect on what players build for the first day after playing Besiege. They should work and good enough for clearing zones. You should always play like this when clearing zones, otherwise it's cheating. 2. Advanced vanilla. They usually discover some tricks on the internet or by accident. That they can bypass intersection, exploit the symmetry tool, 
perform half block placement, or maybe utilizing other bugs we didn't know about. 3. Noted. This is the most common machine found on the front page of the workshop. They were built by installing modes that can perform custom rotation, custom placement, block scaling, and also has power or speed far higher than a block usually allow. It is more preferred because that way, replicas can be more accurate and faithful to the original. But still, machine that trying to keep the visage looking aesthetic has its own charm. So, try your best to use block scaling as less as possible. 4. Extremely Moded This kind of machine has a feature that it didn't work if you didn't install the mode. But, they have some cool features like lasers, multiple homing missiles, even cloaking device. Personally, didn't like this kind of machine. Unless, none of the modes are required for machine to play. Stu Chris I know I could ask this on Slack, but I feel like I'm not the only person that thinks this. Do you ever get stumped on what to do or build? Nope, never. Especially with a growing list of aircraft suggested by community that currently hold 49 aircraft. Making the aircrafts is not the big deal, but deciding what video will be is the real challenge. Kevin Suharjo How did you get the inspiration to build them? Inspiration came from anywhere. Real world modern or historic aviation, games, movie, even anime. Have you watched Izeta The Last Witch? It's full of dang dog fight scenes, nowhere to be found on other things. 2. How can you comprehend to build something so intricate and complex? And those planes actually were not that intricate nor complex. Plans in Visage mostly just a couple pieces for steering surface control and wheels in the engines that form mechanism. And landing gear if you're not into that. Some designs go crazy there, like this one from Newtex. That's it. The rest lies in proper placement of props or panels, smooth fuselages, nailing the proportions, structural integrity, and thoughts of fine tuning. Luca Vazil, how do you come up with your designs and mechanisms? Do you blueprint it or come up with it as you go? What is the design process and where do these ideas come from? It is very easy if you build a replica. The blueprint is already available on the internet. Search for it, display it on the second monitor, then use it as references. Watch a lot of flight footage too. This is to get was War Thunder for World War II planes, or Ace Combat for modern planes. There, you can see how and which part of the wing is moving when a plane performs maneuver. Another one from Peter Lim. Are there any major or minor features that you'd love to be seen in Besiege in the future? Sure, mostly it's level editor with workshop support. This will grant you the possibility of environment settings for my videos. What are a couple of your favorite features about Besiege? Best feature of Besiege other than it's a sandbox is that everything you build is destructible with each part has its own physics, falling everywhere and remain there until you restart the simulation. Any features you hate or dislike? Worst feature was walls on the rift sandbox and barren expanse. It's not a big deal since you remove it with a mod, but it does limit on what it's supposed to be a sandbox. Will you ever create particular series where you have separate topics like World War II vehicles, World War I vehicles, modern vehicles, futuristic or metaphor? Currently no plans like that, but let's just see where this channel developed. Brittany Green Hey, will you be playing any other games on the channel in the future? There is no plan to play other games for this channel. Isn't it good to keep this channel specific to Besiege? So people know what do they expect when they subscribe to this. Mark Snooshes Do you like making your videos? And how long does it cost to make a video with the editing and stuff? Of course enjoying it so much. Recording and editing usually spends over 2 days. Two computers were used every time video is being produced. One with better processor for recording, and the other one has better graphic card which is perfect for editing. Cards, cards, and more cards. What computer do you have? 
What editing software do you use? Do you have a job other than YouTube? One for building and editing is MSIP E60, a laptop which costs around 1200 US dollar. For the editing software, it's Premiere Pro, a very powerful tool for video editing. Currently, work as freelance graphic designer doing animation project outside Besiege. King Derby What do you like to do when you are not building in Besiege? While not working, usually killing times by playing other games like playing Overwatch on PC. How much time do you spend playing Besiege? Steam record shows more than 800 hours. But actually it's more than that, since the most built and record were using older version of Besiege, which has more mod support. How many times does it take you to shoot one video? On how many takes, the Lost Halloween video has 126 takes, the Skycrawl video has 62 takes, and the Far Collect video has 87 takes. Do you think it was a lot? Exile How difficult was the Far Collect video? It is one of the most difficult video to record. Not only because the entire squadron was made by friend, it needs San Francisco completely rebuilt with the Golden Gate Bridge, and also need to record Ace Combat Joint Assault Last Mission multiple times. It's, it's the moment of truth. It's time to decide who flies and who falls from the race. Adrian's Bardella. Do you use some kind of trick to make fight videos with a lot of things to render? Like run everything in slow motion and then make it faster on a video editor or something? Stu Chris already replied with I'm pretty sure the answer to your first question is recording at a very low frame rate. No, it is not, Stu Chris. My frame rate is actually still high. Your assumptions are correct, Adrian. In game footage, usually recorded at 25%. It makes flying easier since everything is in slow motion, then you can just speed it up 400% in the editor. Drake77 Warlord Favorite faction and general from CNC Generals? General Dao, Nuclear No other RTS beat the nuclear explosion effect on that game. It is so beautiful. 2. Favorite mod from CNC series Best mod is Rise of the Reds. You can figure it by how many Rise of the Reds creation has been built in this channel. Game King. Can you please play Scrap Mechanic? I think that you will be the best player out there. Been interested in Scrap Mechanic since long time. But it doesn't have object with aerodynamic properties yet. How could one build a proper plane without that? Last one from Peterlin. Do you have any tips or tidbits of info that you'd like to share with other aspiring Besiege builder? Hmm, let's see. First of all, this game is a sandbox game. You are free to do anything. Don't let anyone told you what you're not supposed to do. Nothing is stopping you from making your own stuff. Everything is free in the sandbox aspect of Besiege. Cheating is imposed by competition or contest. You cannot cheat at art since it doesn't have rules. The only rules in Besiege exist only when you are trying to clear zones. The only competition in Besiege is the rank on workshop, which judge only by the community. So, these are some things that might help you get more exposure on workshop. Thus, you can get valuable feedback that can improve your creations. 1. Keep learning and always try something new. Rules other people worse a lot. When you see something interests you, instead of letting insecurity stop you, try and dissect how it works. Curiosity is what keeps leading us down new paths. Connect the new college you've had and create new things out of it. Eventually, you will be able to create something amazing. 2. Have a brand or signature of your work. So you have created something amazing, but if your creation is displayed in the workshop alongside work by other builders, can people identify it? Developing a unique style is key in becoming a well-known Besiege builder. You want people to immediately identify your creation as yours. For example, you can achieve that by modifying the thumbnail so it has distinct feature. 3. Network with other builders 
Besiege has Discord group that open to everyone. There are also Besiege subreddit, Steam discussion page, and even Spiderling forum. You can join and use this group as an arena for valuable feedback on your work or to promote your new creation. 4. And most importantly, be kind to others, even if you don't like them. Okay everyone, that last question wraps up this session. Thank you for watching this far and thanks so much for everyone who are sending questions. Sorry for those whose question was not yet answered, but there is so much question and our time is limited. However, don't forget to visit patreon.com slash and subscribe this channel.